So um, I had my pre-surgery phone appointment basically clearing me for surgery. Everything went well. I didn't get a whole lot of information. I talked to my doctor about like crutches and stuff like that and he said that I'll be getting everything the day of surgery. Now I would prefer to take care of that stuff in advance but I can't really tell the surgeon how to do his job so I'm not. Um, but today I want to go and um, get a few things to be as prepared as possible. So I know I'm going to have a hard time bending. I mean, I already do. So what I want to do is get um, like one of those shower brushes so that way I can reach my feet in the shower. And um, I want to get a few like dresses. I already have a couple, but I want to get some dresses that are easy to put on so that way I'm not having to put on like pants or anything tight around my, my hips or anywhere that might be irritating my incisions and etc. So I have about a week and a day left before my hip surgery and I'm pretty friggin nervous. I don't know if it's gonna be successful. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. But um, I said in my one of my previous videos about hip surgery. It's still pretty unpredictable what will happen in terms of if it'll be successful or not. So I'm just gonna have to keep my fingers crossed and hope it's successful. So this is the last weekend before my surgery. So I'm trying to get literally as much stuff done as possible. Um, I just had breakfast with my mom. I'm here at the mall now and I'm gonna be getting my eyebrows done for the last time probably until after I get off my crutches and I'll be on crutches for at least four weeks after surgery. So trying to get everything done, um, pamper myself. I got my nails done already. So the next thing, um, my uncle is having a barbecue today. Basically I'm just running errands. I'm also gonna watch two different movies today because I don't know when I'll be able to go to the movies again and I don't feel like waiting for the movies to come out on like Redbox or something. But I'm gonna go see Deadpool 2 and Avengers Infinity War. So it should be a good day today, we'll see. And um, my fiance, he is in Virginia and I am in California, he's in the Marines. And so what we do is we'll go to the movies at the same time, but in different places and watch the same movies. So that way when the movies are over, we like get on the phone and it's almost like we were there together. That's how we do dates. It's really weird but that's the way we have dates while he's away thanks for watching stay tuned friends I am too hype right now like I just went into Marshall's and I literally went into Marshall's just trying to find um, a Shea Moisture hair product that I seen they had there that was like super cheap um, so I went didn't find it I'm disappointed I always like come here and don't find anything when I actually am looking for something specific so I'm, I'm leaving. You have to pass the shoes to leave this Marshalls. I always look at the shoes anyways, just, you know, because I like shoes. And they freaking had Nikes. Like Marshalls has freaking Nikes. They had like Adidas and other stuff too. But um, like, and I was looking at the Adidas that they had, but they didn't have my size. But I freaking got a pair of the all white Roche one Nikes. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but, and these were 40 bucks. I think they're usually like $70 or something like that. But I'm like, dang, I didn't even come here for Nikes, but I got Nikes. <laughs> Specifically, arthroscopic surgery, which means camera surgery.
surgery, three small incisions typically. I go in, I repair the labrum, and then I evaluate you know, if there's any bone that needs to be shaved down or little areas that look like they're impinging or, or, or pinching or damaging the labrum. Usually labral injuries happen because of a combination of you know, just the way that your hip is shaped, but also your activity, and so we can modify the activity, and I'm going to do the best I can to make it shape as normal as, normal as I can make it, you know, shape it as normal as I can make it. Um, I will repair your labrum, which requires you to protect that labrum, and that's why we just touch this four to six weeks. It's a touchdown labrum, and you can put the, the, the foot and the leg on the ground. But um, I'd prefer that you use crutches to help support your body weight. If you end up losing your balance or needing to support yourself, uh, it's not gonna it's not gonna tear the weight from. So you don't have to worry too much about that. I can't guarantee your hips gonna be perfect. I think it'll be a lot better than it will than it is now. And my hope is it will be perfect. And many times it is, but that's something that we'll just have to wait and see. Um, sometimes people have some numbness in the front of the thigh. Little, ner little nerves get damaged sometimes when we're making our portals. Most of the time that comes back, it can take three to six months to return. And, well, I have a list of like permanent and temporary limitations afterwards. There are no permanent limitations other than I would just um, encourage you to avoid, you know, deadlifts and, and kettlebells and, you know, Olympic style lifting. Um, <laughs> and the CrossFit kind of activity just because it puts a lot of strain across your hip and you're likely to re-aggravate it. Three to five days before you ever put water on it, but if you want to cover it, you can take a shower whatever you want. Okay. Two weeks, and then it'll be once every other week, approximately. We'll give you a series of exercises that you do on your own. Okay. And then, how long is my drive again? We'll see. Watch out. Those are fighting words when they are your driver. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put your. She get a little whiplash. She don't know why. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. She tried to kill me. I almost didn't make it here. That's because she waits the last minute. I always give myself no, 10, no, 15 no, minutes no, cushion no. time. No. She's like, they slammed on the brakes. I'm like, well, you should be braking too. <laughs> okay. I was, yeah. You got it, Tiffy. First. Yep. Yep. Pull yourself up. Use your left leg. Can you move your left leg a little bit? So I am back home now after surgery. I am currently waiting for the NBA Finals to start. Can't miss that for anything. Um, surgery went well. The surgeon said he found a bone spur, so they had to um, shave that off. But I'll have more updates on the specifics later. Quick update, my right leg um, my right thigh is pretty numb, but they said that that's normal, so we'll see how long that numbness lasts, and, um, I have, like, this is where they have to put my IV, and it looks really gross. The hardest thing, I think, will be trying to keep the dogs off. I almost forgot to mention, I also have like a sore, I have a sore throat. It doesn't hurt too bad. Like my voice is very scratchy though and it's a little irritated. They needed, um, they actually had to do, they had to, they, they actually had to use a breathing tube. And somebody's outside with the most insane bass for no reason, most likely. They ended up using a breathing tube while I was under, so um, my throat's a little scratchy, a little sore, but it's it's not too bad.